fair incline. After the one mile point, I'd say uh, I've been working pretty hard to get up the rest of the way. But uh, my, pound, my pack is uh, 60 pounds uh, due to luxuries and uh, archaic equipment. So here we are, the uh, Lily and Lizard Lake Trailhead. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. I started this hike at 8.07. I did about 10 minutes of trail maintenance. Saw on that uh, tree off the trail back there. Uh, considerably better time than I uh, budgeted at 10 o'clock. Uh, wow. So uh, there's a lot of room for uh, breaks and rests if uh, that's necessary. Today I'm going to head that way to Lizard Lake. And maybe tomorrow I'll go that way to Lily Lake. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Two hours, that's really good time. Okay, so here we are at, uh, Lizard Lake again. I suppose you can see my, my tent set up there. Uh, looks good from the front, but I think it's probably not a, tent I want to be using in November and December weather but I did put the as you can see a tarp over the above it for some added rain protection um, rain fly as you see just don't quite come down the way I'd like it to uh, there's my hiking pack like I said I put that in a plastic bag and it stays dry and clean no matter what the weather so I had to hang some uh, chamois cloths here on my cording so I don't trip on it. That would be an advantage of fluorescent cording instead of black. So yeah, the next project was to get a fire going. I did pack up some tinder but uh, you know what I didn't have to use it. I was able to uh, employ some skills and as you see I got a pretty decent fire going so that's going to be nice later. A little smoky, but that'll, that's just drying out wood. So, yeah, the rain, or the, the weather said rain and wind. Up here, it's more like uh, snow and light wind. So we're having hail and snow up here right now. Alright, so I'm just kind of sitting here by my campfire. It's going alright. The wind is making it burn quite well, actually. Um, I'm, I'm pretty warm, comfortable. Like I said, it's a uh, wind and a little bit of wind and uh, any rain is actually ice rain right now. Uh, kind of interesting. You know, I've had a few opportunities to try out some of my emergency kit stuff and uh, really see what what uh, it does for me. Because it does no good to speculate and uh, just say something's going to work. You need to test it out. But, uh, yeah, this has been interesting. I'm just sitting up here thinking, though, uh, what I would think my most valuable survival tool that I have with me would be. I mean, I've got that little, little Gerber knife. It's very flexible. has a lot of uh, options, uh, different ways to use it to benefit myself. I've got a shelter with my tent, uh, food. But really, I... By and large, I would say my most uh, my most valued survival tool I have up here, right there. Because if you think about it, the most valued survival tool you could ever have is this book. It allows you to become known known by Jehovah. And if, if you have a relationship with Jehovah, everything else is secondary. Uh, it doesn't matter what would what would happen. He can he can restore my life. That's the most that's by far the most versatile and powerful, useful survival tool I could ever have. People uh, talk about minimizing as much as they can to be able to go backpacking. I think I would never never minimize this. I'm just sitting up here thinking, if you're all alone, it can get kind of lonely sitting up here after a while. Uh, feel secluded, maybe a little isolated, but uh, when you read about the 
stories of people up in here, up in this, uh, or excuse me, in the, in the scriptures, uh, you feel like you have a whole world around you again. A whole world of not just people, but people that uh, serve Jehovah, uh, some, that, some that didn't serve Jehovah, and more importantly, uh, it reminds you that Jehovah is right here with you. What a valuable, valuable survival tool. I think I would pick this as my, my, my favorite. So, of all the things I will may or may not cut out of my pack, this uh, <laughs> probably weighs a, a little over a pound, but by far, by far worth its weight in gold. I'd pack this as far as I could. So, that's all I have to say on that. Okay, here we are, about 10.30, Friday morning. Uh, I've made the north butt. That's between Lily Lake and Lizard Lake. It's the highest elevation on Blanchard Mountain that uh, a trail goes to. Uh, there's a higher one right over there, a little bit higher, but uh, you don't get much of a view off of that. Right now, I'm that, that right there is the Oyster Dome. Uh, so everything you can see from the Oyster Dome, I'm looking right over the top of the Oyster Dome. A little higher elevation, actually. And uh, it's quite pretty. I don't know what this camera is able to catch, but I can see I can see uh, the Strait of Juan de Fuca, the San Juan Islands. Uh, amazing stuff. I, I wish I knew what all of it was. I'm going to look into that some more so I can actually put a name to each one of these. Uh, not too windy up here, it's just a very light breeze, very sunny, yet, uh, uh, as you can see, the, the water, dink, 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 it's frozen. So, yeah, it was, uh, you know, I still got that 60 pound pack I packed up here. So I got a little bit of a workout so far this morning. I overshot the trail and went all the way to Lily Lake. I had to turn around and come back, but it wasn't much, maybe, a Maybe, uh, I don't know, three, four hundred 400 yards. So that's not too bad. Uh, real pretty up here. Uh, I think, uh, I think I'm gonna go pack around down to the Oyster Dome over there. That looks appealing. Have a look at that. So, uh, I don't know if there's one, two, three, four, five, six, Six boats out there. Three of them are uh, large ships, and the other three are uh, small. So that would mean the forecast is pretty decent today. I was able to go on my two-way radio and check the weather, as I had mentioned. So uh, I guess the three boats out there and I both know that it's outside of a little rain, it's going to be pretty nice today. I'm really looking forward to that. So 12 o'clock Friday. I'm sitting at the Oyster Dome. Yeah. Looks like we got some rain clouds coming in, but we had a nice break for a while this morning. Those rain clouds are about as high as I am. So, this view is going to disappear, I think. Bye bye, camping spot. Sure is nice up here. I didn't see one person here the whole time I was here. But Lily Lake and uh, Oyster Dome, there's quite a few, so it's real nice. Uh, there's my spot where I was. So, hmm. And 
here we begin our trek out. You got a horse, you can ride your horse here, tie him up. Real well set up for uh, horse camping, horseback camping. Got some 